Hey everybody, Mike Toy, Bonsai Boise. This is a juniper that I picked up last year. It's called a blue chip juniper. So about this time last year, May of 2023, I picked it up just from a nursery. Go back in time here. This is what it looked like, pretty raw. So May 27 of 2023, blue chip juniper. Says so you can see it's uh, pretty shaggy and just looks like an ordinary juniper shrub. And I wasted no time in chopping it up. I remember I didn't really have a plan going in. I just kind of wanted to see how it went and see how it flowed. And it sort of flowed into something kind of like this. Which I didn't love, but didn't hate. Thought it was a good start. Put it in this big red pot. Wanted to give it a chance to grow and get healthy. And then figured we'd take a, a second stab at it later on once it recovered. Get into some more styling techniques, which is what we're going to do now. So that's what it looked like when it was all said and done last year. And I didn't really touch it again for the entire year. So fast forward to now, April 30th. 2024. You can see it grew out. Looks nice and healthy. The nose part of it extended further and the rest of it grew out pretty well. I'll give you a comparison here, here in a second. So that's what it looked like before and now. So you can see the, the bark is a little more aged looking and weathered because it's exposed. So I sort of took the same approach this time. I just start cautiously and just sort of nip at it and try not to make any cuts right off the bat that I'm going to regret. I just want to open it up a little bit and see what we're dealing with. But the style that I've got in mind is pads. I'm thinking I want to try to do some pads on this or at least get it started down that path. So as I or to nip at it cautiously here, what I'm really looking for is where are the branches, like the main branches that come off of the trunk? It's kind of hard to tell from looking at it at first glance, especially when it's all grown out and shaggy. So I'm looking for anything growing down or, you know, any kind of awkward growth going in a clear wrong direction. I'm going to get rid of that. Otherwise, I'm just trying to identify the main branches and then from there, you know, identify the ones to keep, the ones to lose. But I'm going slow and methodically at first. You can see how some of them, it looks like it would be a main branch and it's not. Others don't look like it will, and it is. Which is why I sort of take my time in the beginning there. So here's the back side of it. You see growth going downward. I want to get rid of that. It's a strange balance sometimes with bonsai because, you know, when you get rid of that downward growth, it gives it a nice, clean look, which is good. But you don't want it to be too clean. You still want it to look like a natural growing tree. So it's a balance. But I've never really seen too many examples of branches or leaves growing down that look good, other than a cascade, of course. So now that I'm starting to identify where some of the main branches are, you'll get a better look here in a second. Then we'll start making some decisions as to which ones will be pads. So you can see a couple of them starting to form there. I usually don't start right in the middle like that, but I did this time for some reason. I think it's just the way it worked out. You see how there's there's growth that's going to be growing like in the elbow of a branch and trunk like that. 
typically I'll look to get rid of that. So hopefully you can kind of tell the direction I'm trying to go with it now. progress. I'll give you a close-up e example here of some of the foliage that's growing down in the elbow and branches that don't look like main branches but they actually are. So you see that that's actually a main branch that's laying down almost parallel with the trunk which we'll get rid of here in a minute. See that? That's why I go so cautiously when trimming up a juniper because they can be tricky. So it's starting to take more shape now. I also think the nose is extending out a little too far so I'm gonna have to address that here in a second. Doing some more cleanup it there on the elbow growth. I don't think that's a bonsai term, but I'm gonna make it one. I'm gonna start saying it a lot. Elbow growth. Gotta get rid of the elbow growth. A little more elbow growth. Hard to get hard to get to this one. I do remember actually kind of wrestling with that. So taking more shape. I like the flow of the trunk for the most part. I'm gonna have to Take that nose back some. It was kind of hard. I actually agonized over where to take it back for off camera for like 10 minutes. The growth on this um, nose, I'm just going to stick with these terms that I'm making up here. The nose of the trunk, uh, it's kind of kind of sporadic and weird, not as dense. Um, end up taking the tail back some too. Do you know trees have tails and noses and elbows? You do know. Let's make it a thing. So there it is. It's uh, really starting to take some personality and shape now with the pads. And the goal for this one really, um, for, for this particular time, this pruning, is to get it started on the path of these pads. It's not gonna look amazing today. It'll look all right, but I wanna get it on the path of pads. And some of these might change over time, you know, one or more might grow in some awkward, weird way or just in a way that I don't like. But for now, I think we're going to go with this and see how it goes. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'm happy with how quick and um, cool the, the weathering looks on that trunk. If you remember what it looked like in the beginning, it was just looked like a new hidden you know, trunk of a shrub. And now it looks a little more weathered like a tree would. So didn't repot it, kept it in the same pot, just styled it up a little bit, got it started on the path to pads. So please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can see updates on this and some other junipers and many other species I have. And thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day.